configuring programmable logic devices using USB. Electronic systems have traditionally had at their heart some form of standard cell device. These offer high performance, low unit cost and strong power efficiency, presenting a favourable value proposition when production volumes are very large and price points need to be competitive. However, other characteristics defining such devices can, under certain circumstances, be less attractive and consequently another type of semiconductor technology is gaining ground. The application specific approach is highly suited to electronic systems where the market is already assured and there is stability in the end product's functionality. But in order to benefit from the high performance and cost effectiveness of ASICs, major upfront investment must first be made. If the end products are for a sector that is not yet mature or the company developing them is a startup with little available budget, this is unlikely to be the best strategy. Likewise, if products need to be upgraded over the course of their life cycle, then a large expense involved in creating an ASIC is hard to justify. Finally, if a series of products is being developed which all stem from a single platform, application specific devices make little commercial sense. An increasing number of equipment manufacturers are moving away from application specific chips and migrating to versatile programmable logic devices. By employing programmable logic as opposed to fixed function standard cell, engineers can upgrade the design via firmware for greater flexibility as well as faster time to market. Though implementing programmable logic based designs is becoming more appealing, it is not without its difficulties. One major obstacle is configuration data normally has to be stored on an additional flash memory or discrete EEPROM device for downloading every time the programmable logic chip is powered up. This increases the bill of materials, adds additional complexity to the design and potentially extends development period. An alternative is to use on-the-fly configuration of the device. Normally this requires expensive hardware, but by carrying out configuration directly through USB, the cost involved can be minimised. Programmable logic configuration via USB is both more subtle and highly cost effective, as well as being faster to implement. This is likely to prove particularly beneficial in applications where a number of different configurations are being implemented. The Morphic 2 development module from FTDI is targeted at system designs where hardware reconfiguration via USB is required. This low cost module uses an Altera Cyclone 2 device and has 80,000 logic gates. The module connects to the host PC via a USB 2.0 high speed interface. Through this it is possible to create a communications bridge between the PC and the FPGA. This bridge is split into two channels, a programmable interface channel and an 8-bit parallel FIFO interface channel. Hardware reconfiguration via USB means the FPGA specified only requires enough logic gates to deal with the most complex discrete functions it will need to implement. It does not require the capability to cover all potential functions. This maximizes silicon utilization so a lower cost device can be used. 